Hello. Uh, we'd like to encourage somebody in these perilous and, and difficult times that we're going through. But before that, I would like to ask you a question. What is God's purpose for your life? I repeat my question. What is God's purpose for your life? I would like to read uh, Romans 8, verse 28, that says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. God has a purpose for your life, for my life. I'd like to take the example of Joseph. Joseph, after he had been sold, he had been abandoned, he had been cast away by his family, and then his uh, boss's wife lied about him. He ended up being in prison, and then he, he went out of prison. And after this stage, he became someone very rich, someone very powerful, someone very in influential. He reached a very, very high and top position. And maybe you, you believe that God's purpose for your life is to become rich, to become powerful, to have and to exercise a great influence on, on people around you. And it, it might be true. But let me tell you that I believe it's only part of God's purpose for your life. You see, in the story of Joseph, God wanted Joseph to be his portrait. He wanted Joseph to demonstrate his character and his qualities. He wanted, to, he wanted Joseph to be like a jewel that would reflect not only his glory and his magnificence through his position, but also his love and his grace. But like every jewel, he had to be cut. He had to be shaped. He had to be chiseled. And that's something that we, we don't like. And everything that happened to him, everything that happened to Joseph, were like the scissors of the sculpture. That's why I firmly believe that Joseph obtained the realization of his dreams and visions that he had when he was young, not when he introduced himself to his brothers as the prime minister of Egypt, not when he introduced himself as, as a powerful military and infant leader, but when he introduced himself to his brothers as a forgiving and gracious man and brother. Why do I believe that? Because this is ex exactly what Jesus did for every one of us. You see, Jesus is the son of, of the living God. So when he came down on earth, on earth he, he was the son of the living God. He was the, the treasure of heaven. But he did not present himself to us as who he really is in the outside, like a, a glorious, a magnificent, and a powerful being. But he introduced himself as a lowly man as a humble servant and as our brother. But a brother who, after having been cursed, having been betrayed, sold, bitten, humiliated, and cast away like Joseph, he came back to us, but with forgiveness and grace in his hands. God's purpose for you is not that you become rich, that you become powerful, that you become or influential or, or famous, but his purpose for you and for me is that you will become and will become forgiving and gracious like Joseph did, but also like Jesus was. No matter what happened to you, no matter what you've suffered, let me read this again to you, Romans 8.28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. No matter what you are currently currently going through, let God shape and mold you into his very own image and let his forgiveness and his grace grow into your heart for his glory and his glory alone. God bless you.